Hey guys, it's me, Rod Marquez, and today's video we're gonna be surf fishing. We are doing a little collaboration uh, YouTube video with Benji, you, and then Han Bonds, Courtney. There's also Jimmy from Beyond the Trails and a lot of other friends, Kaipo over there, ready scouting out the surf. But we're out here gonna try to catch. What are we gonna try to catch? Well, ideally, we wanna sight fish some Corbina. So we're gonna try to find them right over in the skinny water. Okay. Um, on light line. Okay. So we got you set up on four pound today. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little ridiculous, but hopefully we can find them. Well, I was uh, getting tips from you. You're saying four pound test. That's the like, that's the way to go to sight fish for Corbina. They're maybe line shy, so four pound test will be really good. However, it's gonna be a challenge because there's gonna be a lot of kelp, a lot of debris, the current. So that four pound test is gonna be really challenging to land potentially like a 20 inch 28 inch corbina now hopefully if we can find it in a 20 inch range um 28 uh we might be in the igfa <laughs> sand crabs are a really good bait for the surf because that's the natural bait in the surf for big size corbina if you enjoyed this particular video give me a comment below give me a thumbs up and then maybe we'll do more collab collaboration videos thank you for having me man <laughs> really appreciate it let's get it we're, we're at low tide right now, coming to high tide. What are we looking at when we're fishing the surf? So even something like this, this is this really, this real flat area is classic Corbina water. When it's low tide like this, you can kind of see that it's a little bit more like right here. It looks like there might be a little rip right here. Yeah, yeah, I see little, it. The little channel, so that's an entryway. Oh, so when okay. The water comes in, the Corbina will often cruise to the left and right of it and they'll use that as an exit channel. So the Corbina come shallow because they were trying to eat the sand crab beds, right? Yeah. And so this is the, the beds, right, you're talking about? Yeah. There's probably some clams in there too, but there'll be some sand crabs. Oh, there's one! <laughs> First pool! Yeah! <laughs> so is this a good size uh, sand crab? That's a good size. That's probably like a nickel size. Okay. Um, that's a good size. Um, you want it to be active, if you have row, the orange row on the other side, that's a really nice size right there. Oh, see you buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, we got to a good spot. Benji's working this rip right here. Courtney's working over there. Kaipo is sight fishing. The other people are on their way. It is 7.30 and it's low to high tide. So I wanna show you my rig. I'm using a simple, simple Carolina rig. I'm using a 1 8 ounce egg weight. And then I have a leader line of about a, a foot and a half. And I'm using a very small size 10 mosquito hook. I'm using live sand crab. And what we're doing here is we're gonna be sight fishing for Kerbina. Uh, Benji said, and Kaipo and Courtney said, this is a nice little spot because of this little structure. You can see the rip right here. I guess, I think that's what they call it. They call it a rip versus just a, a flat sandy 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 bottom here but then if you look just like 10 yards to the right there's a nice little rip nice little structure for carbina to come into the shallows and feed off these sand crabs all right let's get them oh perfect perfect size look at this guys perfect size perfect size i'm gonna rig them up with my size 10 mosquito hook I'm gonna go from the underbelly and then up. Expose the hook right there. All right, there's a nice little sand, sand crab bed right here. So I'm, I'm assuming that there's some nice croaker or corbina right here. Five minutes later. I think I got one. Might be a yeah. Oh, it's big. Switch up the drag. Okay. Yeah, dude. Oh my God. Yeah. We got Rodney. I, I'm. 90% sure it's a Corbina. Are you sure? 90% sure. Oh, it's pulling! Ooh. It's pulling, guys! Just let him run. Just let him run yeah. This is my first Corbina in the surf on a sand crab. Yeah, that might be like a 16, 16, yeah. Oh, yeah? He's not ready, he's not ready. He's not ready? So I'm really, what I'm doing, guys, I'm not really good at surf fishing, but I'm gonna use the wave to my advantage. When he's running, I'm just gonna let him run because obviously I have four pound test, I don't want to horse him. But when the next wave comes, I'm gonna gently push it a little bit more. Look at that, look at that guy, that guy's a fighter. There you go, there you go, there you go. There's the wave, there's the wave. Pretty much ready. <laughs> yeah. Yes! Might be a 17 maybe, 17 inch. Yes, yes! <laughs> I did it guys! <laughs> Carolina rig. Thanks Benji, thanks uh, Kaipo, thanks Courtney. 
<laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> That's so sick. Probably 16, 15, maybe 16. Yeah, 15 and a half. 15 and a half. Yes, first Corbina in the surf on a sand crab. Four pound <laughs> test. That's so sick. Thanks, Benji. Yeah, Thanks, dude. Courtney. Hey. Woo! That's so cool. <laughs> I'm gonna let this guy go. It is my first Corbina. I'm gonna let him go. Ah! See you, buddy. There he goes. Go, go, go. There he goes. Yes, yes. Yes! <laughs> Dude, that's so oh, sick! So Thanks, man! Yeah. Thanks! <laughs> yes! Got another one, guys! Woo! Yeah, that Rodney's just making us look bad. <laughs> yeah, up to any body of water. Yes, look at one! Heck yeah, dude! That was a light lip. That was yeah, a light tick. A, a, a light hit. tick, yeah. Does it feel better? Uh, it does. Oh, or yeah. maybe the same size, maybe. Rodney Marquez! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> he saw me. <laughs> oh my god. He's like, see ya. Yeah. This is oh, so fun. Yeah, dude, that's a good one. Yeah. Guys, that's, that might be a 20. Do you want to measure it? Yeah, let's measure this that's guy. not a bad one, Kaipo. Uh, look, at the, look at the shine on quality. it. Quality. Quality? I got quality from Kaipo, yes. <laughs> okay. Thanks, buddy, for letting me catch you. See you later. There he goes. There he goes. Oh. Where is he? Where is he? There you go. There he goes. Woo! Yes! That's number two. God, that's fun. This time of year, the sand crab are, are generally this size. So using a size 10 mosquito hook like this guy on ultralight line is my go-to. Seems like my go-to. Uh, rig right now. Corbina or the croaker or the predator type fish are eating on these sand crabs. They're going shallow. So if you're casting way out there, um, you might get a bit like what Benji said, but you're going to get bit more likely in the shallow because those are the fish that are actually on the hunt to catching or eating sand crab. So let's go ahead and try to catch more fish. I think Courtney got something. We're you using sand crab? Yeah, sand crab. <laughs> Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yes! How fun is this, guys? Third Carbina of the day. Thanks to Benji, Kaipo, everyone who's helping me out. This is so cool. How awesome is that? Look at this. <sighs> Woo! <laughs> nice Carbina in the serve. I let the first two go, but I'm gonna surprise my mom with this one right here. Hot and bonds. Uh, for the cooler. <laughs> for the cooler. Oh! So update, I caught three Corbina so far. And I, I'm using polarized glasses. I could see them kind of swimming, like silhouettes in the, in the surf, but they're in one to two feet of water. And we're working this rip right behind us right now. And we're working the edges. Like Kaipo said, and Benji, you know, work the edges, work around that rip because that's where the fish are gonna draw in and then they're gonna be eating some of the sand crab that's in the surf. And using live sand crab, oh my God, it is so fun using and fighting with four pounds ass, it's so fun. All right, let's catch some more, let's go. Just for the record, if this gets on video, I just want you to know it's not that easy. <laughs> no, it's not easy at all. And he's, that's a quality one. That's a 20, dude. Yeah, that's a big. Woo oh, yeah, wow, man. Kaipo, 22, illegal alibit. Nice one, Kaipo. Nice one. So, Courtney, how uh, was your surf fishing session? I thought it was great. It's um, pretty cool. My favorite part was seeing all of you guys catch fish, especially you for the first time. <laughs> Your first perch, your first corbina. Yeah, on, yeah. I never really used sand crab before. Now I'm a believer, thanks to Benji. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're a believer because I said it and you showed it. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's what fishing's all about. It's all about like sharing the knowledge, right. you know, and just right. it's awesome. I really appreciate it. It's all about yeah. the people you get to meet and hang out with. Dude, it's so awesome. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, Courtney, Kaipo, Benji. And Jimmy, he had to go home, but it was just an awesome day fishing in the surf. 
thanks guys for teaching me a little bit of um, surf fishing. Uh, if you like this particular video, give me a comment below, give me a thumbs up. And until next time, see ya.